Congratulations on your state title, hard-fought game. Tell me a little bit about the team's performance and what's going through your mind right now. So we've said all year we had the best team, um, and you just have to go and prove it on the field. And we were super proud of the guys. We came out. First of all, i got to give credit to Jay Wood and his, his staff and his kids. They fought incredibly hard. Their best player, um, Jackson Carleon, was unavailable due to sickness. So they were, they were, you know, that's a big hole in his midfield. So the way their kids performed was incredible. Um, you know, Davis won, won the state title last year. It's been kind of the gold standard the last couple of years. So we were glad to match them. Um, as the game went on, they, they got that goal. And I, it, I think it brought the game to life. Uh, we couldn't break them down. They were fantastic. Both goalkeepers, Ben and Dougie, were incredible, especially Dougie in the second half. And we couldn't break them down. He saved the penalty. And, I felt like everybody behind us in our section was worried about, oh, no, we're going to lose this game 1-0. And I think when we missed the penalty, you could see Peter Hartman, who got the equalizing goal, he kind of started to take over the game. You could feel the momentum shift, and it was just a matter of time. And then we got the equalizer, and, you know, when we get tied with somebody late in the game, our guys, they're just hungry. Like, we don't sit back. We think we're going to take the game to them, and it's just super blessed to have such a great group of kids. Yeah. What did you tell the guys as you guys were heading into overtime with that, you know, tie and having the momentum going forward, but unable to break down that St. Chris defense? So, so we just we told them keep going forward. Um, that's our game. Get the ball. But you again, find feet, move the ball, create set pieces. The last time we played them at City State and we had some success and some corner kicks. And, you know, it's just a matter of. It, it's really hard to defend us for 80 minutes or 90 minutes almost tonight. So um, we we're thankful. We have a, a great group of kids. The kid, JP, Josh Barker, that scored the game-winning goal. We've been giving him a hard time. He's got – I think he's got 10 assists on the season. He's only got three goals to this point. We're like, JP, when are you going to score a big goal? And he looked over, and I remember sending him on, like, go win the game, man. You, you can do this. And he rose up, and it was a beautiful header. And this is fun. I think I turned to watch the crowd, and the crowd was so excited. And th like, this is what high school sports is about, lifetime memories on a, a beautiful a field with great history. It's just a chance for kids to be together. So we're super thankful. You know, hats off to Jay Wood and the St. Christopher team. They, were in, they fought hard all season. It's a great team, and we're just thankful to come out on top. I know Noldy mentioned to me that last year's loss in the semifinals kind of left a bad taste in their mouth that they wanted to, you know, almost come back for a vengeance. Um, it, was that what you guys used as motivate part of what you used for motivation? No, like our motivation is this is this is a unique team. We started back in August together, and we said from day one our goal is to win a state title. We have three three goals. One is to win the Tucker Pitt Cup with Norfolk Academy, which we did. Then it was to win the Prep League, which we did, and then the state title. And this is the hardest one. This whole week has been difficult. Every team we played has been a prep league team that's familiar with us. It was a 1-0, 2-1, and another 2-1 game. So the quality in the league is very good. And, you know, last year was last year. Charles, you know, the only blemish on his college re or high school record is really he missed the game with Mono last year against Trinity, and Trinity was a deserved winner. They got a great goal late in the game, and we couldn't fight back. So today when we got we gave up the goal, it was early enough that we had confidence that there was plenty of time to be patient and get our goal back, and we did. And, you know, he, he's had an incredible career. I believe he's 74, 74 wins, eight losses, and five draws in the five years since eighth grade. Obviously, COVID, we only played five games playing 99, but he's had an incredible year, career, three prep league titles, two state titles, one semifinal in Bird. And, uh, I mean, we're going to miss all these kids. We just like how humble and, and calm and, and they're just great human beings. You mentioned that you guys are very familiar with each other in this tournament. Is it harder to play against teams that you've already played against that you're familiar with? Um, so they, it, it, they, they know what we do. They know how we play. A lot of their kids play with a lot of our kids in the club environment, whether it's with Richmond United, the Richmond Kickers, the Richmond Strikers. So they have these relationships. So, you know, there's always probably, I'm sure there's some friendly banter, but we respect all of our opponents. You know, the St. Chris, it's a derby match, right? It's it's the thing that's the hardest to win. It's like the El Clasico and Barcelona and Real Madrid. For us, this is our big rival. It's nearby and there's so much history between us. You know, last year they won their fifth state title. This is our fifth state title. So we're super proud to to make sure we're on even terms with our local rival. And, you know, next year both teams graduate some significant players. And we're, we can't wait to get started again next August and uh, see if we can run this thing back. Yeah. All right. So, awesome. Thanks, Noah. I appreciate it. Thank you.